Yeah, hello again, it's Scott here. I've put a short video together just showing you the benefits of installing a secondary drain plug onto the oil pan of your 722.9 transmission. Uh, this provides a lot of benefits because it allows you to do a complete fluid change and an oil cooler flush uh, without dropping the pan and changing the filter. So I see a lot of benefit in this um, because it allows you to do that fluid change so every couple of years um, without having to drop the pan to change the filter which may not be necessary. So a very cheap modification and uh, easy to do. So I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. So here's the oil pan on my 722.9 7 speed transmission in my W204C class. Uh, what I've done here is I've installed a secondary drain plug. Uh, now these are a universal drain plug, you can easily pick them up off eBay uh, very cheaply. And what this allows me to do is I can do a complete fluid change and oil cooler flush without removing the pan and changing the filter. Because I figure that because the ATF is um, you know, quite cheap nowadays, um, to do a complete fluid change, say every couple of years and then every second time I can drop the pan and change the filter. So it's a very simple process, it's just three stages really. I would undo this plug here and that will drain the complete oil pan because uh, the overflow pipe that's on the normal drain plug here doesn't come into play. Um, then I would take the rubber cap off um, just here in front of the oil pan and uh, you just pull it off and then undo the plug to drain the torque converter and then the third thing I always do is I remove the oil pressure line which is just a matter of taking this bolt out here pull that line out and then I can pump about a litre of ATF into the end of that pipe which will flush out the oil cooler and all the oil lines and just do that while you've still got this uh, secondary drain plug undone and the flushing uh, fluid will just come back into the transmission and then run out through this plug. So that will be a very simple process. Uh, then to refill the transmission, I would just uh, place this um, plug back in uh, to there, the, the Allen key plug. Uh, take this one out and um, you know fill it in the normal way with an air lift which you can see in uh, one of the other videos. So I need to drill a half inch or 13 millimeter hole through the bottom of the pan. So I'm going to put it on this flat section here. So I'll put it about there. The first thing is I'll drill a pilot hole. Okay, here we go. I'm going to use this uh, tool here. It's called a step drill. So the second um, one is 12 millimetres. So just got to be careful you don't go too far. That's the, that's the first one, so that's uh, 10 millimetres. And then now I'll go to the second step. And that fits through the hole, so now I'll just tidy up all that swarf and um, get rid of the burr on both the inside and the outside. So I've taken the burr off the outside there, so that's all smooth now, and, uh, and on the inside and cleaned all the swarf out. So now we'll install the plug. So to install this, I'll take the nut off and it, the washer goes on the bottom. And I'm going to put some non-hardening sealant on that washer there. And I'm also going to put some Loctite on the threads there because we don't want this coming loose.
So I just had another idea. Um, what I did is I marked the position of the nut against the drain bolt there, and then I took it out and I drilled a four millimetre hole through the nut and through the actual bolt, the drain bolt. And the reason I did that is uh, I'm going to put a bit of lock wire through there so that uh, there's no chance it'll come undone and also it will allow for better draining um, of the oil uh, because now that hole is only you know a millimetre or so above the base of the pan. So I've reinstalled it and I've put um, you know the, the non-hardening sealant on there and I've put uh, thread lock on there. So that's what it looks like. Just got a nice bit of stainless steel lock wire through there so there's no way that's going to come out.